YouTuber Saptor Sound here from AndrewTechBlackSpot.com. Right now, I'm going to be showing you how to flash the leaked jelly bean for sprint on your AT&T Galaxy Note. Yes, this is possible. You can flash sprint's leaked jelly bean to your AT&T Galaxy Note because they have everything running the same. But make sure you don't get the files from anywhere else except for the link in description below. So please go ahead and download the links, the files from the description. Once you get the files down, put it external or internal wherever you want. Keep in mind this is going to be over 700 megabytes because this is the full leaked jelly bean. So over 700 megabytes. So don't do it on your data, do it Wi-Fi. And let's go ahead and get to the process. Put it in your internal or external SD card, whichever one you like. We're going to do interclock more recovery. If you have a ROM that gives you extended power menu by the you can hold on power button, go to restart, and here you got options to go into clock more recovery from here. If you're not lucky one, then you can go ahead and power off your phone. Once the LED goes off, that's when you know that it's completely powered off. Now I haven't mm -hmm. experienced any issues. That's because I haven't been running for like days and days. I have ran for like 12 hours. Plus all the developers that I talked to who made this possible for us are Team Insomnia. So Smart Guy, Wally Zero One X. Those are the people who made this possible to flash for us. So once the power is off, the phone is off, you're going to press power, volume up, and center home button. Press that, vibrate, let go of the power button. You will see the Samsung screen, let go of the other two buttons. And the phone will reboot into clock on recovery. As you can see right there, here we are going to go ahead and go back up and restore and back up into your internal SD card. If anything happens, you can always come back and restore from your internal SD card. Great. Now we are going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset. We're going to do it three times because we are flashing a whole system that's like official, but it's leaked, but it, it is official. It is going to be what Sprint's going to be ruling out soon. It will have like changes software wise, but like 70% of them is going to be what we are going to be flashing today. And keep in mind, we are flashing this on your AT&T web cache again. Wipe cache. So we're doing it three times. Probably forgot to do the data third time. But let's do it. And then for the cache third time, we are going to go to advance, wipe daily cache, and wipe daily cache. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and press back button. We're going to go to install zip from SD card. Here you have two options. On my top finger, that is your in external SD card. On my thumb, that is your internal SD card. I'll have my internal. I'll go there. I'll go to where I have it. That is in download folder. And here you go. Aristotomus LIF Light. Life Light. So you will go there and press yes and it will start installing. Keep in mind this comes already customized with system UI that has been themed and has 15 more toggles and has extended power menu already built in. So that is the two features that most import most common for the stock ROMs and it's great that smart guy made that out for this ROM. And keep in mind guys if you are on XDA please go ahead and support him, give him thanks, donations I know he needs a new computer because this guys stay up all night working on this ROM and making this possible for you guys to use it. Again, sprint base, sprint base using on your AT&T Galaxy Note that is really cool, and it will give you full experience of your Jelly Bean that will be coming out soon officially. But as you can see. We got Sprint Lake, we got T-Mobile Lake, we got Bell, 
and we get Sanaj in my 10 AOKP Slim Beam, codename Android, Liquid Smooth, and all those ROMs floating around which uses Jelly Bean. Now we are going to go ahead and press back button, press reboot. Now what I recommend is put the phone down somewhere, mm. go take a hike, drink some water, do something for five minutes, do not look at your phone. Just let it settle down for five minutes. You will see the official animation for Jelly Bean. It's big X. So yeah, give it five minutes for the system to settle down. With this way it will work out better for you. And see you see the screen going black. Don't don't worry about it. It's it's part of the process because I have experienced this while while I tr while I flashed it first time. So I thought I break it or something, but it not. See the capture lights turned on, which means it's not boot loop either. It will be booting up in a minute. And this was just how to video for full review. It's gonna be next one. So once it boots up, I'll stop this video. You can always use like button that's down there in the corner, subscribe button down up here and support me that way. I'll keep up with as many ROM reviews as possible. I have done MIUI, AOKP, Sonic Martin, Aristotemus, Black Jelly Bean, Liquid Smooth is probably coming in, Slim Bean, Paranor Android and all these ROMs has been reviewed on my channel so go ahead and check on my channel too and you can see it's booted up now so I'll be doing a full review of this ROM so go ahead and stay tuned subscribe and I'll see you later use those buttons as I told you thank you for watching guys